Shut up and sit down. Welcome to the Nerd Safari Wilderness. I am Simon, your tour guide, and if you enjoy this tour, no need to tip me, but please hit that subscribe button, and we will be back every two days delivering nerdy goodness into your YouTube feed. But for now, let's bust out of the jail of boredom and go stalk some entertainment in the wilderness of classic revenge movies, because we are talking about Becky. What was the point of all of this? For a key? It's worth much more than that. Okay! You're clearly a special girl! I don't want to have to hurt you. But I do want to hurt you real bad. Right out of the gate, this movie felt so familiar. It felt like some of my favorite 80s and 90s classic thrillers and chillers. Movies like The Hand That Rocks the Cradle, Cape Fear, Fatal Attraction, A Time to Kill, and it has been so long since I had a chance to enjoy movies of that genre. But dude, Paul Blart playing a bad guy? Seriously, that sounds dumb. Shut up, Negative Simon. So sure, this is Kevin James's first dramatic role playing a villain. However, when I was watching the trailer, I was as skeptical as you. But the moment I saw Kevin James's big scraggy beard, the swastika on the back of his shaven head, I was sold. This is not Paul Blart Mall Cop. Search continues for four inmates who escaped federal custody this morning. Authorities say the men are armed and extremely dangerous. Not for one second does Kevin James fall back into his old Paul Blart ways. There is no comedy involved in his character in this movie. He is absolutely chilling. Okay, well, why don't you give us your number? My dog is a Rottweiler. Purebred, or as the Germans call them, Rottweiler Metzgerhund. That's why you never let them mate with other breeds. You get the worst of both. Now, while we're talking about villains, I have to give a shout out to Robert Maylett. You probably know him as the giant from Game of Thrones, but in this movie, he plays a character called Apex, who is Kevin James's character's right-hand man. And he really manages to embody the conflicted, but still very chilling and very scary serial killer. Okay, I think it's time for you to go. Stay calm. I am a sucker for grisly, gory thrillers, and this movie delivers. Now, sure, sometimes it gets a little bit campy, but there are definite moments in this movie that will have you peering through your fingers as you watch. Where's Becky? Wait, wait! Ah! Now, as I've said, Kevin James plays a great bad guy, but who is the good guy in this movie? Well, absolutely not Joel McHale. He appears incredibly weak in the movie, and that's probably intentional. Come on, boy, let's go swimming. Let's... Oh, can you wait a sec? What is she doing here? You let her walk all over you. She's 13. But Lulu Wilson rules as a titular character, Becky, who becomes this angel of death, raining down vengeance upon the escaped convicts. What happened by your forward, Becky? And you really see her flip on a dime as she goes from being the victim to becoming the aggressor. She becomes tough and resolute and determined, but also very human. He's gonna hold your dad still while I hurt him. I'm not gonna let them get away with this. You see her run the gamut of emotions as she realizes and has to come to terms with the things that she will need to do to survive this encounter. Now, if this movie is not Mall Cop, it is also not Home Alone. And sure, there are some traps involved, but you will not find yourself chuckling at them unless you're chuckling at them in that fashion of, I cannot believe what we just saw. There once was a little girl. Becky! When she was good. Stop running! She was very, very good. And when she was bad, hey! she was horrible. So if you like your revenge thrillers very visceral and real, and you like a bit of blood and gore thrown into the mix, then give Becky a shot. I am Simon from Nerd Safari. Please remember to hit that subscribe button if you enjoyed this, and we'll be back every two days with more nerdy goodness. Peace out, my friends. <laughs>
Shut up and sit down.